In this series of videos, I want to take a look at Composer. We've just launched with three sample books, including Not Without Bare Light, A is for Aardvark Light, and Steampunk Chess Light. All three of these books will soon be available on the App Store as standalone apps uh, that'll be complete books. Now, as I do these videos, uh, I might accidentally cover up some of the screen, and I'll try not to do that. Uh, but I just wanted to basically give you a look at the overview of the interface. Uh, and we're in the portrait uh, orientation looking at Composer for Steampunk Chess Light, which is the book that I created. Down at the bottom of the Composer screen, you'll see the workbench. This is where all of your pages, your uh, icons for your pages to help you navigate between the different pages uh, as you construct your book will be. The index and the master page are sort of overlay pages that let you uh, do controls to move between the main pages of the book, which the cover will always be the first page, and then the other pages, uh, as many as you want really, uh, in order. If you want to add a page, uh, say you want to add a page in between page three and page four, you would navigate to the second, uh, to the page three there. And then there's a little blue plus down here in the bottom corner. You can tap that blue plus and it will actually add a page in between. And now the new untitled page is page four and everything else uh, bumps down a little bit. But we don't want to do that, so let's use the undo feature, which is up here in the top left. I'm just going to tap undo, and we get rid of that page. And page three loads back up. 